Before I show you the actual Tecton resources, let's have a brief look what the pipeline looks like for our enterprise Java application. So I have a few steps uh, within our Tecton pipeline. And what we do, well, we basically make sure that um, our changes are being applied against our cluster and also against the system test environment. So first of all, of course, we have our Git um, app repository that uh, contains our Java sources. And then within our pipeline, well, we need to take the contents of that repository and build our application. We use Maven to do that. So in our case, that step build Maven that will already produce our Maven resources that are uh, located on the target such as um, jar files and war files and all these um, things. And also it implicitly runs our code level tests. So that already makes sure that we at least can compile and build our application. And then as a next step, well, we of course need a Docker image in order to be able to run it later in our Kubernetes environment. So we have another step that basically builds our Docker image. And in our case, we use Builder that is a um, cloud native technology to build uh, Docker images uh, within containerized environments. Um, since our case, our task runs also as a pod that also runs as a container. So we have um, that environment where we just need to make sure that we actually can build an image. So we use this to build our Docker image that will already contain our application. And then of course, we need to push it to a registry as well. So this is the next step within the next uh, task uh, step in our pipeline here that will just push the, the Docker image to a registry of our choice. And then we have uh, the case that we can actually already use it and deploy our application. And then we will have um, another step where now we could deploy it, but we want to deploy it um, as a system test first. So we want to deploy it to a system test environment in order to run our system tests. These will be similar um, to what I showed you in the video course, if you watch that on testing for our coffee testing uh, system test environment. And how that works is basically, well, we have these YAML resources. So our task needs to go and update those resources that actually reside in our GitOps um, repository. So we have that Git config repository that is applied with Argo. So Argo CD uh, will reside in our cluster and then, well, we take these uh, resources in our Git uh, repo and we will push to that Git config repo from within our pipeline. So we update the YAMLs, we push the changes and then we just make sure that Argo takes these changes. So we will actually uh, trigger a sync um, in Argo and just make sure, okay, please now apply uh, whatever is there in the system test um, context. And in this case, Argo will go and just apply the desired state that is defined in our YAML resources. So we will just go and in our case, for example, uh, deploy the system test application that then will be live. And once that is the case, and we can actually wait for the success here, then we can go and run our system tests. So against that previously deployed environment. So the step within our task will just go and connect to this application to the system test application and just make sure that everything works well. And once that is the case, we go to the next step. And now for us, we immediately deploy to production. So we have a similar step like the deploy system test that goes and updates our uh, YAML resources and just make sure that these uh, will then work. Um, will also be pushed to the Git config repository and then Argo will go and just deploy that to our um, uh, to our Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. And then as a last step, we actually have something like a smoke test that only, well, does some health checking and just make sure that our application is up and running, uh, in this case against the production environment. So there's not a proper uh, test approach. Um, it's just make sure that it's up and running. And then in our case, we uh, can be sure that our pipeline is, uh, is somewhat um, deploying not only to a system test environment, but to production, and that we already uh, have an environment where we can somewhat be sure that everything works. So this is the uh, basic approach that we want to implement in our enterprise Java project, and that I'm going to show you using Tecton and Argo.